right, Taraji P. Henson's brutally honest and emotional explanation of Hollywood's pay disparity is going viral. I heard on the CNN street, Taraji, you had the audacity to say you're thinking about getting, stopping acting. We said, stop talking. Hmm. Are you thinking about it? Um, mm. Being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Taraji P. Henson is fed up with staying silent about the unfair treatment she faces just because she's a black woman in showbiz. She's got serious talent, but the paycheck she gets is just a tiny slice of what she's worth. Things got even more interesting when she teamed up with the mighty Oprah Winfrey. Now people are wondering if Oprah is playing fair with Taraji. Even though Oprah had a chat with Taraji's husband and agreed that the pay gap is a real issue, she hasn't spoken up publicly. This made folks think Oprah might be avoiding the whole thing. Fans dug up old videos of Oprah and Taraji during the Color Purple promo days. In one video pic, Taraji looks like she's fighting back tears, and Oprah's smile gets bigger when she moves away from her to pose with someone else. There's even a video where Oprah is all buddy-buddy with the rest of the cast, but when it comes to Taraji, she keeps her distance. People started thinking there's some tension behind the scenes. After all this drama, Taraji started telling everyone in interviews that she's tired of being lowballed in Hollywood and is ready to take legal action against Oprah. So what exactly went down to make Taraji spill the tea? Where's my raise? I haven't, had, I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia? And then During a chat with Sirius XM, Taraji got real deep about the struggles black women face in Hollywood. It wasn't just talk. She got emotional, shedding tears as she spilled the beans on the mistreatment and low pay she's been dealing with. She pointed out that in the entertainment biz, it's not a solo gig. When someone says they made a whopping $10 million, Taraji wants us to know that Uncle Sam swipes half of it right off the top. Crunch the numbers, and that leaves you with $5 million. But hold up, it gets trickier. According to Taraji, her hardworking team also takes a hefty 30% cut from the gross pay. Now, when you do the math, it's like math is taking a vacation because it just doesn't add up, and it doesn't end there. Every time Taraji smashes a glass ceiling and accomplishes something groundbreaking, she finds herself back at the bottom when it's time to talk about the moolah. It's like her achievements get erased, and she's stuck starting from scratch each time. Understandably, she's had enough of this roller coaster. To get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not that. That didn't make it to their account. Mm -hmm. Know that off the top, Uncle Sam is getting 50%. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do the math. Now we have 5 million. Your team is getting 30% or whatever your team is getting, off of what you grossed. Sometimes not more. after what Uncle Sam took. Now yeah. do the math. I'm tired of hearing that my entire career, 20 plus years in the game, and I hear the same thing, and I see what you do for another production, and when it's time for us to go to bed, you don't In another interview with the SAG AFTRA Foundation, Taraji spilled more tea, revealing that things got so bad, she had to clean the house. After her role in Empire from 2015 to 2020, when the show wrapped up, everyone from her team had to hit the road. Why? Because Taraji was asking the important questions. Where's my next big deal? Where's my commercial? After being the style queen as Cookie, she expected some major endorsements lined up. But surprise, surprise, nada. Her frustration peaked when her team suggested another Cookie-themed show, but they couldn't get it right. Taraji was all for it if it was done properly, but her team missed the mark. That was the final straw, and she let them go. And you know, people couldn't help but remember how Oprah faced some scrutiny when Taraji was spilling the beans. They were side-eyeing Oprah, wondering if she was playing the same game she did with Monique when Monique was speaking out about similar issues. Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do and stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments, what you call, oh, I don't even deal with things like that because what people are beginning to do is see you for who you are. In Monique's situation, she's been super open about what went down after the movie Precious hit it big. Tyler Perry and Oprah jumped into the mix, becoming executive producers of the movie. 
Monique spilled the tea, saying that she thought she had met all her obligations after filming the movie. But according to her, Tyler Perry, Oprah, and Lee Daniels wanted her to hit up festivals, award ceremonies, and precious-related events without offering any extra cash. Monique wasn't having it. She wasn't about to work for free. But guess what? When she said no to the freebie, they labeled her as difficult to work with. Monique claims that Oprah did absolutely nothing to help her out when she was getting slammed. When there were talks about Monique being blacklisted, Oprah was right there at the table. Monique felt betrayed because she saw Oprah as a sister, and she made it clear, no forgiveness until Oprah publicly admits that what she did was dead wrong. I want to apologize. And what my husband taught me a long time ago, an apology is not something that you think you think you need to give. If somebody else thinks you need to give it, it's what you feel. So Monique lays it out straight. She won't let it go until Oprah apologizes for the mess, saying it was malicious, intentional, and just plain ugly. If Oprah's tuning in, Monique's message is loud and clear. Oprah, you know what you need to do. Stop hiding behind excuses and negative comments. People are starting to see the real you. What's been happening over the years, according to Monique, is that Oprah used their personal friendship to dig into Monique's family life. Then, without a heads up, Oprah spilled those private details on her show just to boost ratings. Monique believes Oprah played a big part in her being blacklisted, which is why she still sees Oprah as a backstabber who's out here ruining the careers of black women. Monique made it clear that Lee Daniels and Tyler Perry had apologized to her, both publicly and in private. However, when it came to Oprah Winfrey, the best response Monique got was Oprah claiming that she was full of negative energy. Monique argued that responding to negative vibes with more negativity only leads to chaos. Oprah suggested rising above negativity, being a source of light, and spreading positive energy. This might seem ironic given that Oprah fills her Instagram with messages about unity with black sisters, while actresses like Taraji P. Henson express frustration about low pay and inequality for black actors in Hollywood, especially when promoting an Oprah Winfrey film. Taraji, while attempting to clarify the situation, shared a photo with Oprah on her Instagram. She emphasized the importance of women of color supporting each other and holding decision-making positions across industries. Taraji praised Oprah as a steady beacon of light providing encouragement and unwavering support to the cast of The Color Purple. According to Taraji, Oprah told her to reach out for anything she needed, and one call was all it took for Taraji to feel heard and supported. Despite Taraji's positive portrayal of Oprah, some people in the comments section expressed skepticism, suggesting that Taraji might be hesitant due to fear of potential repercussions or blacklisting by Oprah. This sentiment echoes Monique's past experience. Some followers even found the photo and message posted by Taraji to be somewhat ambiguous and giving off strange vibes. So, while Taraji acknowledges Oprah's support, the broader conversation suggests that the dynamics and nuances of these relationships, both professionally and personally, might be more complex than what meets the eye. Oprah also recently took to Instagram to shower Taraji P. Henson with praise, revealing her newfound discovery of Taraji's singing prowess. In her post, Oprah expressed deep admiration for Taraji's multifaceted talents, noting that she has a rare ability to make people laugh, cry, cheer, and experience every emotion in between. What truly caught Oprah by surprise was Taraji's singing ability, a revelation that left Oprah in awe. In particular, Oprah lauded Taraji's portrayal of Avery, emphasizing that she played the character with such authenticity that it felt like she had not just sung the blues, but had truly lived through them. Oprah shared a poignant anecdote about Taraji's late father, who had predicted that Taraji would rise to become one of the greatest actresses alive. According to Oprah, Taraji's father encouraged her to let the world hear her sing, and in his eyes, the stage was already set for Taraji's brilliance. Oprah wrapped up her post by extending a warm welcome to Taraji in the Purple Sisterhood and eagerly anticipating the standing ovation she believed Taraji would receive. Despite Oprah's glowing words, some fans remained skeptical, bringing up past controversies involving Monique. The doubts raised by viewers question the authenticity of Taraji's admiration for Oprah and whether she might have been pressured or silenced into expressing positive sentiments. This narrative has sparked intriguing discussions and left many with lingering questions.
The skepticism revolves around the authenticity of Taraji's words. Do you believe Taraji's expressions of admirations for Oprah are genuine? Or is there a possibility of external influences shaping her public statements? The past disputes involving Monique have also cast a shadow over Oprah's interactions with other black women in the industry. Could Oprah be influencing how people perceive her interactions with Taraji? And is it fair to draw parallels between the two situations? Furthermore, there's a curiosity about whether Taraji's interviews truly reflect her unfiltered thoughts on Oprah. Is she speaking freely? Or could there be external pressures guiding her statements? The complex dynamics of Hollywood relationships often leave the room for more interpretation and viewers are left pondering the intricacies of this latest revelation. As the conversations unfold, we encourage you to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed this scoop and want more of the hottest tea in town, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for regular updates, and explore our other YouTube videos for a continuous dose of entertainment gossip. What's your take on this Hollywood drama? It's Hollywood.